what's up? Okay. Talk about 
priest. Yeah, my priest just reminded me that I, uh, I am in a relationship. Let's talk about that, right? I'm in love. That's pretty cool. I'm in love. This is awesome. You're the best relationship I've ever been in. Thank you. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say that in every relationship. But like, I'm pretty sure I mean it this time. It's going to be uh, Unfortunately, her, uh, her parents don't like me. Uh, but as we've established, I'm adopted. This has happened before. So, how can I bounce back? When we started dating, we didn't really know what we were looking for. We didn't know what we wanted. We were like, or maybe we'll like, just be friends with benefits. Maybe we'll be in an open relationship. I was like, you know what? I'm traditional. Just cheat on me, okay? That's that's more of an escape. But it's going great. Uh, we just moved in together. That was a big step. That's exciting. Very nice. I'll tell you, you did that. And uh, yeah, it's going, it's going awesome. Because I like I was with her and I was like, this is this is it. This is going great. This is definitely someone I could see myself with on a 12-month lease, right? Like I was just, uh, <laughs> then after that we'll go on. Yeah, until until that. Uh, one of the big decisions we made in our moving together is we have separate bedrooms. Give it up for separate bedrooms. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's, I think it's exciting because it still kind of feels like I'm single, you know? We can go to bed, she'll go to her bedroom, text her, like, you up? What's going on? <laughs> she'll come over, have sex, and be like, you can leave now. That's it, it's great. It's really special. Oh, we only have sex in her room. Pillow talk in my bedroom is just who gets this pillow. <laughs> I was usually talking about having separate bedrooms, and somebody was like, Isn't that weird? Aren't you worried she's gonna cheat on you? I was like, You know, we had like separate houses before this. I don't know. Also, what kind of relationship would I be in if I was always worried she was cheating on me in the other room? <laughs> it was like in the kitchen, she's like, She better not be cheating on me. <laughs> change my sheets. So. <laughs> and if she cheats on me in my bed, I know she means it, right? That's it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's real cheating over there. That's so, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great being with her. I'm grateful to not be uh, single anymore. I had a tough time dating in the pandemic. Anyone else date in the pandemic? Woo! Right? Four of us? That explains everything. <laughs> It's a weird, it's a weird time to date. I remember being on Tinder, and this woman, her bio said, "Don't bother if you're one of those sheeple who wears a mask." And I was like, "Damn, this lady is definitely having unprotected sex with me. That's awesome." <laughs> no, about COVID, we're gonna spread, we're gonna spread something, all right? Let's... I didn't, I didn't love dating, it was tough, but I do miss uh, sex on a first date. You guys like sex on a first date? All right, a lot of, a lot of chumps in here, that's fine. And, uh, I just love sex on a first date, you know what that means. No more dates, right, exactly. No more, you're, you're done dating that person. <laughs> you're done. But I went on, I was at, went out with this woman, and she, she invited me home with her, and uh, we get back, and she comes on to me very aggressively. She's like, hey, just let you know, I like it rough. And then as things heated up, she's like, okay, I need you to punch me in the face. Yeah, I think I misled you. I don't like it rough at all, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't punch her in the face. Uh, she told me that that made me a little bitch. I was like, honestly, if I was punching you, I'd be saying the same thing. So, Also, I didn't realize this, agreed to be rough with her up front, apparently meant that I was consented to her beating the shit out of me. Didn't know that was part of the deal. That lady hurt me so much. I'm a hairier guy, I have a lot of chest hair. Uh, she took that. Seriously. Uh, the next morning we got up, it was awkward. But she was like, you know, we could do this again. 
but you'd have to step your game up. <laughs> Holy shit, you are so good for material. Of course I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> Perfectly on the second date, she told me that she voted for Trump. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna punch the shit out of this. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I think you guys clapped it up for me beating up on me. <laughs> uh, speaking of getting beat up by me, you guys are about to get the strawberry next comic. She's amazing. Super funny. You can see her all over Philadelphia. Guys, let's hear for Nicole Phoenix! Yeah. 